Do you ever wonder how the signal to your radio, whether at home or in your car, gets from the radio station to you? Well, that's where Nautel comes in. Based in Hackett's Cove, Nova Scotia, Nautel is a world leader in broadcast radio transmitters. A transmitter is a complex piece of electronics that turns the radio station audio signal into radio waves. The transmitter then amplifies the signal and sends it up the antenna, creating a very powerful signal that can be sent to your radio many miles away. A typical transmitter consists of an exciter, power modules, a combiner, a controller, and a cabinet to contain it all. Nautel's FM and AM transmitters are considered some of the world's best. The first stage to creating a world-class transmitter is design. Engineers design each element using computer-aided design software. Nautel designs and produces almost the entire system in-house, allowing the company to rapidly prototype and test new ideas. The GV series of transmitters are housed in giant cabinets or racks. Each rack and component case is made by hand. First, four by eight foot sheets of aluminum are placed on a CNC or computer controlled cutting machine. Large sheets of copper are also used for some components. This CNC machine uses a variety of dies to punch holes in the metal sheet. After using a variety of die profiles, the various pieces of the rack are created. Once the pieces have been cut, they're sent to the brake. The brake bends the various parts so they can be later fitted together. Once all the cabinet pieces have been created, a worker begins assembling the main cabinet. Other workers assemble the cases for the various components, such as the power module. Workers use rivets to construct the cabinet and connect all the pieces. Once the cabinet is built, it's stored in a plywood case until needed. This case will later be used as the shipping container. Other CNC machines, such as this lathe, are also used for the construction of over 2,000 smaller parts that may be required. These are mostly connectors of various types and sizes. Wiring a radio transmitter of this size is a rather complex task. and the designers are always working to reduce the amount of required wiring. First, each wire is measured and then stamped with a distinct ID to identify the gauge or thickness. A worker then strips the end of each wire and organizes them by project. Various pegboards are then used to lay out each wiring harness or group of wires.
The wire harnesses are then set aside until needed in the assembly area. Although the circuit boards for the GV series of transmitters are made at a contractor facility, the power module, exciter, combiner, and controller modules are all assembled and tested in-house. Each worker places components in the case until the module is complete. The final assembly of the GV40, a 40 kilowatt transmitter, takes one worker about one week to complete. Assembly requires the installation of all wiring harnesses, as well as power supplies, power modules, the combiner, exciter, and the controller and touch screen. The completed transmitter is about the size of a large wardrobe and includes a whole lot of state-of-the-art technology. Once fully assembled, each GV series transmitter goes through 14 to 16 hours of testing. These transmitters are built and tested to ensure they can withstand things such as lightning strikes, as well as power outages. The control system is also designed to provide the ultimate customization and accessibility, and is tested thoroughly. The final product is a world-class transmitter that will transmit music and information over the airwaves for many years to come.